Welcome to Sometime 4. Today we're working with page 43 and we're doing ratios 16. Now look at this page. I want you to complete the ratios. In each block we have four ratios. We have 1 over 10, we have something over 20, we have 12 over something else, and we have another something else over 60. So let's name the missing numbers. 1 over 10 equals A over 20 equals 12 over B equals C over 60. So now we're going to find out what A, B and C are worth. Let's start with 1 over 10. 1 over 10 equals A over 20. How much do we have to multiply 10 by to get 20? 2. 2 times 10, that's 20. So all we have to do now to find A is multiply 1 by the same number, by 2. 1 times 2 is 2. So 1 over 10 is the same as 2 over 20. Now we have 12 over B. We know A is 2. So how many times must we multiply 2 to get 12? That's right. 6 times 2, 12. Now we have to multiply the 20 by 6 in the same way. And 6 twenties are 120. So we know that B is 120. But we don't know what C is. So 12 over 120 is the same as C over 60. What's the relationship between 120 and 60? Are we going to multiply or divide? We're going to divide. So if we divide 120 by 2, we get 60. If we divide 12 by 2, we get 6. So 1 over 10 is the same as 2 over 20, is the same as 12 over 120, is the same as 6 over 60, because we divide the 12 by 2. Let's try the next one. 3 over 4 is the same as 15 over A. How much do we multiply 3 by to get 15? 5 times 3, 15. So 5 times 4 is 20. So 3 over 4 is the same as 15 over 20. Now then, we have 20 and we have 16. 15 over 20 is the same as 3 over 4. We have 15 over 20 and we have something over 16. 20 and 16 are fairly difficult, aren't they? But we know 15 over 20 is the same as 3 over 4. So let's work with 3 over 4. How many times do you have to multiply 4 to make 16? 4. So let's multiply 3 by 4 in the same way. 4 times 3 is 12. So 3 over 4 is the same as 15 over 20, is the same as 12 over 16. Okay, continue yourselves. Best of luck, that's all for today.